Technocentric here and I'm here to show you a video on OS X Mavericks. As some of you may be aware of it, that o uh, Mavericks was uh, out, was released to the public, uh, like I think uh, yesterday. And uh, today it's, people can be, I mean the general public would be able to download it free. There is a free upgrade uh, that you guys will uh, will be able to download it and get access to it. Now I just wanted to inform everyone that they could do this and to update everyone with how the Mavericks works. So to be able to download this uh, OS X Mavericks, you will need to just simply go to your Apple Store on your laptop and go to updates. And as you see here, it will tell you that uh, you have OS X Mavericks and it is a free upgrade which you could be which you could upgrade your laptop to now uh, i don't know how well as you know when something a uh, new technology or new improvement or new upgrade comes out uh, the few well let's say not days weeks uh, there will be some issues problems uh, well upgrades that needs to be imp improvement that needs to be done uh, on it now i don't know uh, whether you should do this update or you shouldn't but as personally for me i'm a kind of person that just keep up to date with technology therefore i will upgrade and even though if something happens i don't mind i still be upgrading therefore just make sure guys that you're okay with uh, upgrading and you will know the consequences if anything will happen you won't be shocked so guys and just by the way another thing is that if you have anywhere a hardware or you have any sort of thing you could um, back up your laptop to it please do before you uh, upgrade and if you guys need to need me to tell you how to back up your laptop please write a comment i'll be posting a video on how to back up your laptop but as in now for those of you are ready you will just click on free upgrade or sign in to your Apple ID, security reasons, and it should start working right now. <coughs> Sorry, guys. Yeah, because I'm actually really uh, excited about this OS X Mavericks because when I uh, saw the video or the presentation, it was I think around. September when it came out when they were showing the iPhone 5 and the Mavericks and the that iPad I mean Apple desktop I was really excited to Get and wait for the OS OS X Mavericks and as you know also guys uh, the two new iPads just been released uh, officially by Apple, but they're not released to the public yet. They'll be released on uh, I think November. Yeah, it's November 1st. They'll be release to Apple stores and yeah guys it's iPad uh, Air and iPad mini 2 which yeah I was looking I, I watched the presentation and it's like it is a big improvement I mean it's 72 times faster than the actual iPad that was first released that is a big improvement it's much thinner and it only weighs one pounds the Mac Air so yeah i'm actually looking forward to getting that but yeah guys for now let's just stick with the os os x mavericks and see how things go as you know i just have to wait for a while one hour they went down to 15 minutes but again one hour so yeah guys i'll just uh be back shortly after the download have been complete okay guys so i'm back it actually took a bit more time that I uh, was expecting it to take anyway it was actually because I was playing at the same time and updating these two things but anyway now as you see install OS X Mavericks step I mean this have been opened on my Mac and you just need to press continue and then well, you need to read if you want to the terms of uh, agreement Anyway, after you have read, you want to press agree. I've read 
and agree the, to the terms of the software license agreement you press agree and you would want to uh, download it uh, on well your actual software and then you simply press uh, install and it will tell you it's not connected to the power source well guys just make sure you have power please 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 make sure you have power because if by any chance one percent your computer shuts off there'll be a you're gonna face a lot of problem fixing it if anything happens so make sure uh, you have power there we go so of course you have to put your password and there we go guys and uh, we'll wait for the software to get installed on our laptops this is about a minute so I'm actually really excited to see what are the changes in this and I know partly but I just love playing with software and like technology just to be able to know what's new what's not but yeah guys <laughs> I'll be back shortly after the this, this 30 seconds is done. Okay guys, so just a second remaining and I guess yeah as it says the computer will restart automatically. So my computer is gonna restart in 23 seconds. I'll be back shortly after the restart have been complete. Hi guys, yeah so I'm back uh, with a brand new OS X Mavericks on my laptop. And I have uh, took a um, picture of every step of the installation process for you guys to just make sure that you're on the right track and you're doing the right thing. So the first page, as you can see, is the well, is the title is install OX is the process of installing the OX on your uh, Macintosh. The next step is the actually just to be precise the first step will take around 45 minutes to an hour depending on how much stuff you have on your laptop so don't worry if it takes a while it actually does take quite a while for it to install and the next step is completing the installation that wouldn't take long it'll just take five minutes so by the way guys on the previous page and uh, install OS X that uh, after it finishes uh, the time and then it goes on it says less than a minute in less than a minute it takes actually quite a while like I think it's actually five minutes rather than less than a minute so don't worry it's not stuck it's working on it just be patient and after you have completed the inst completed installing you will be done and you will I mean you can work with your laptop now you just have to Go on, enter your password, you have a password, if not, you're ready to use your laptop. Once you uh, enter your password to enter your uh, username uh, or just enter, since you don't have a laptop, it will ask you for your Apple ID, as you can see, then iCloud Keychain, and for those of you who don't know what iCloud Keychain is, it's just the software that basically remembers your password actually not only your password but your website login your credit card numbers your wi-fi networks and the best thing about it is that all of this is encrypted so basically even apple cannot uh, access uh, any of your uh, passwords and also another good thing is that actually this is the best thing about it is that it's on all your software like your iphone or your ipad on any of the devices that you have which is signed in with the same Apple ID and also another feature of this is that for example when you go on a website and you want to shop it will allows you to choose between the number of credit cards that you have your debit card or your credit card your like master or your visa it allows you to choose between one of them it puts in the credit card number itself however you have to remember your security code I mean in the end of the day it's, that's what makes it secure I used uh, I used to use I one password since this wasn't on uh, the mountain line or any other iOS 
software before so this is a very good future I actually was looking forward to and after you have set up your iCloud keychain you're set to go your uh, it will show you a setting up your Mac and then you're done you can actually use your Mac and as you can see on my screen right now I'm already set done and as you can see we have iBooks here and maps just a new feature on Mavericks uh, added to our dock and I'm just gonna go into my applications and see whether there are any changes no not any changes in here well as you can see we have a keychain access here that's been added recently let's go to our system preferences I'm just giving a look of the system for you guys to see before maybe you want to download it I think the look of the thing actually changed I don't know is it me or it's just like yeah the date and time changed I know anyway guys I will be posting a, a video future uh, in future on well the changes in Mavericks I just need to use it for a while to see what new future it has and yeah guys that's it i hope you have enjoyed this video please if you have any problems and if you have any questions regarding this don't hesitate to ask me just write a comment under the video in the comment section and hope you have hope this video have helped you guys and yeah guys enjoy your new os software mavericks and have a good time and also please guys if you have enjoyed this video don't forget to rate like and subscribe i would appreciate it and if that actually helped me a lot and that's it have fun and enjoy your time with your new software bye